Alrighty, I got a construction update for you guys today. So Snoopy's Racing Railway is literally, why did I say it like that? That sounded like the TikTok kid. Literally almost finished. They're just finishing up the final touches landscaping wise and the buildings and infrastructure. We are down to literally um, probably like a week. I have a feeling that this will be ready for May 5th. It will not be ready for this weekend or uh, media day, but it'll be ready for May 5th. Um, so uh, definitely super excited about that because this is a really cool addition. Honestly, again, I keep saying it, but Wonderland knocked it out of the park with Snoopy's Racing Railway. So I'm really excited to see the area completely finished. I'm telling you, it looks like it's got a lot of work done, but I remember Yukon Striker, those of you that remember Yukon Striker, when it looked like this, it's, it's merely days away from being complete. I can promise you that. Um, more work going on with uh, Behemoths. Um, I totally forgot the name of the part now. Oh my goodness. I'm recording this at like one in the morning. Okay, shh. One in the morning. I'm sorry, guys. It was a really busy day with Strata. But yeah, more work on Behemoth's Lift Hill. So um, that's really exciting. Tundra Twister is just finishing up attaching all of the restraints. Again, I need to know where this op booth is to know how far along this project is. If the op booth is in, then this is days away from testing. So um, I've been looking. I'm going to have to look this weekend at the park. Um, but I'm seeing no signs of there being an op booth. I haven't seen the floor move. So again, I'm going to assume the op booth isn't in yet, which is bad news um, because uh, that means we're still maybe more than a week out from this ride being even running. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. They're working on landscaping as well. I caught in the drone, the little evac platform. So that was really cool for Windseeker to catch. Uh, they were training a lot of their maintenance team, um, which was also really cool to catch as well. So that was fun. Um, what else did I see today while flying? Uh... Oh, oh, yes. Oh, uh, Leviathan's first train that had a lot of refurbishments done to it was on the track, and I've heard it is flying. I've heard really good news about that, so I can't wait to get on that. They have painted the turn out of the station to the lift hill, um, and they are painting the station of Dragonfire as well. I am hearing, actually, that is all they're going to paint, so don't expect the rest of Dragonfire to be painted. They are just working on a lot of the areas that uh, customers can actually see. Riptide also had a lot of refurbishments done to it, um, so this is it actually commissioning. So you're seeing it do a really weird cycle. That is not it testing, that is it commissioning. Um, so yes, they're going to cycle the ride like that. And then they'll start training this weekend. So I don't expect Riptide to be open this weekend, but who knows? Wonderland could get this ride up and ready tomorrow, Friday, today, Friday, and then have it ready for the weekend. Wonderland always is just like, you, you, it's, it's hit or miss. Like, uh, they either are going to blow you out of the water and it's something that doesn't look like it's ready is going to be ready, or it's just not going to be ready. Um, but Wonderland is definitely one of the strongest parks in the industry right now in terms of having their park ready for opening. So definitely got to give it to the maintenance team. That is definitely like a maintenance team thing. Very strong. Um, in terms of that, the front gate fast lane booth is moving along quickly. Um, but yeah, super exciting. <coughs> super Soaker is officially done other than the walls. Um, so some of the walls just need to go up, uh, but very few left. But yeah, that's it for a construction update today. Tundra Twister is getting pretty close. Snoopy's Racing Railway is days away from being finished. Um, so we should definitely see a test cycle while the park is open this media day. Uh, and that could possibly be the media surprise. But I'm, I don't think there's much to media day um, outside of that. I know the park might do a separate little thing on the side. But yeah, here are some of the service roads under Timberwolf now. And yeah, there's the work on Timber, uh, Timberwolf Falls. As you can see, looks really good. They put a lot of money into that, guys. It shows. But thanks for watching today's update. Hope you have an amazing day. See you this weekend. Bye.